What's going on everybody back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the new the new and improved version 2 piggy bank x2 um, or times 2 APR uh, Let's be honest man. This is crazy. It's absolutely crazy What's crazier is, is that the numbers that you see right now because I mean <laughs> When we first started literally when it when it when the countdown hit zero it was like over 100 people in less than like five seconds. Uh, I was one of them. I know that for sure. I was one of them. But I didn't go super heavy into this one right away. And um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, but concerning this, this is this is crazy. This is dope. Like this is their layer five, man. And it is, I mean, it's, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. I don't even know what to say about this, right? I'm hoping it's good. It, it, it is good, but still. Why the hell are everybody coming out with so many layers? Like, I don't even get it. I, I, I don't understand it. Um, well, I mean, I do understand it now, but I don't I don't understand the logic, right? Um, if you guys were with me with the um, with the fortune cows, they're already coming out with layer two. They already put out the white paper. I'll do a video on that uh, after this one. But piggy bank machine, BUSD, X2 APR, times two APR. Um, this is easy, simple, very, very easy. Uh, take your BUSD. Stake it, earn sausages, right? You earn sausage, take that sausage. You can stake that sausage for more sausage, or you can take that sausage, sell it for what? SD. <laughs> so basically, if you're in the first layer, piggy bank, uh, layer one, this is exactly like that, but with way better rewards, and you're earning sausage versus piggies, right? So this is going to be used basically as a buyback uh, mechanism to buy back TPG, which will in turn boost the TPG because not only are they going to be buying back TPG, but they're also going to be burning TPG. So it should watch the price go up dramatically, right? Or I would say normally. I ain't going to say dramatically because it might scare people, right? But yeah, it's it's going pretty good, guys. Um, I only put in 200 bucks again. I always tell you, do not, don't overextend your judgment, right? I want to put a thousand dollars into it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to overextend my judgment on this or any crypto if I don't feel comfortable with doing so. And uh, that's because guys, at the end of the day, these teams are anonymous. You know, it doesn't matter how many audits you got. I mean, you know, it, it, well, it does in a way, but the thing is, is that it's crypto. And, and and here's here's the uh, here is the fact. Here's why I think this way, right? Uh, I've told people before, and uh, months and months ago, I've told people. I said it contracts, audit auditing contracts, and being doxxed, Though it makes you feel safer as an investor, it it, it really it doesn't really mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Because the same people are they, they can still rug you, right? We've already seen it. I mean, it's rampant now. Everybody, I don't even trust, <laughs> it's, I ain't gonna say I don't trust them, but it's very, very hard to trust some companies like Assure, right? Um, it, it's hard because people are literally bypassing the system by using fake identities um, that, they're, that they're acquiring on the internet somewhere like 4chan or some shit, right? So, I mean, really, when you think about it, I take crypto with, with a huge grain of salt, people. It could poison you. I'm just telling you, don't trust nobody in this crypto space unless you personally know them and you can touch them. Because then if they did something funny, I mean, you can really fuck them up, right? So, but don't trust people like that in this space because we're all here to make money, right? But when we're getting into these projects, you don't know these devs. And even if they say, even if they say, look, know me now, you really don't even know if that's really them, right? And, um, that's one of those that's one of those things in my opinion where you gotta you gotta draw the line somewhere and for me with any of these projects man i, I just try to keep it i, I try to keep a level head and, and not fomo into every single thing you may see me fomo but it's not to the point where i'm taking out i, I saw somebody yesterday not to not to go off this but i saw somebody yesterday when strippies came out i don't know if you guys it was strippies was over on the phantom network I consider that they rugged. I say that they rugged based on what I found in the contract, just like Quantic, based on what I found in the contract, 
and based on how the interaction was in the in the group chat the the, the dev talk based on all those things all those factors i almost fomoed in with <laughs> with quite a bit of f uh quite a bit of ftm right very close and something told me just wait just wait just wait and i waited and you know what? i'm so glad that i waited because so many people got screwed one person showed evidence of them literally taking out like an equity loan or some shit on their house and and dumping in the strippies guys uh, you can't make this shit up right you can't make it up why do people do these things because they don't do any research as soon as i did the chat a favor and i said hey do yourselves a favor before you fomo go do a quick contract audit before you fomo and dump all your money in here it saved a lot of people, but a lot of people got screwed, right? And then, boom, it was so, it was bad. It was bad. But anyways, back to Piggy. Uh, yeah, guys, look, I'm in it. You're in it. Look, I don't even have any referrals, so, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. You can still make money. You don't need referrals to make money on these things at all. It's 2022, baby. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, this is going to be dope. I think it's going to be good. I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite ones, simply because when you sell, you can you can get it right back in BUSD, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, it's much better than than you know converting to TPG and then you know moving that TPG to the next. Like I like very simple, and this is a very simple layer layer one, but their layer five that that works for me all day every day. Anyways, catch you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like to. If you hate me, definitely put that in the comment section. I would like to know why, because there's a lot of people now that are starting to hate simply because I gave my opinion on one project, right? And what I've noticed in this space is that when you're in all these little chat rooms, telegrams, discords, it's usually the person who comes out with a, who says, who gives a, a, a legitimate question, right? They ask a legitimate question and everybody jumps on them. You're fudding, you're fudding, you're fudding. Like, Nobody in this room that is that is invested cannot say anything remotely shady at all or concerning at all because you'll be excommunicated immediately. And then what happens is when those projects rug, those are the people that say, how come nobody said anything? And what I'm noticing now is a big trend. Uh, a lot of these um, YouTubers, bigger ones as well, but just YouTubers in general, when these when these when these companies rug, I, I I noticed that a lot of people that are advertising, you know, like videos like this, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm a hypocrite, right? Videos like this where we're telling you, hey, look, look at this, look at this piggy bank layer five, boom, you know, maybe you should get in if you do your own research. If this rug tomorrow, most people would do what I'm about to say. They would just delete the videos. They, they'll delete all the videos on Piggy that they ever did. And then nobody will make a video. I won't say nobody. Not many, if you can even find them, will make a video saying that they rugged. They won't even bring it up. It's like it almost didn't exist. Their videos don't exist anymore. You, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. So that's how they're moving now in this space. That's why I say be very, very careful. You know, be careful, man. Just be careful, especially when you're following channels like mine, other people that are doing crypto. We're trying to do our best to be entertaining and we're trying to do our best to show you what we're doing. But you just have to understand that because we're doing it doesn't mean that you should do it. You should do your own research and then decide if it's something that you want to do. You know, what I mean, and blame yourself afterwards or cry, you know, cry later if it if it rogues. Right. Um, but yeah, don't get mad at me if I if I if I give an opinion on something. You know, I could be completely wrong. I'm not saying I'm right at all the time at all. I don't even think I'm right. Well, I think I'm right, but I mean, that's just my intuition. I'm right for myself. My decision is right for me. And sometimes something will happen and I'm just like, "Damn, I was completely wrong about that project and I missed out." <laughs> and then there's times where I'm just like, "Told you so. I told you so." Right. You have to make a gut check when you see something crazy in the contract. You got to make a gut check. You have to. You have to make a gut check. But anyways, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.